I have ham and bean soup in my canner, but I've got something else left over from Christmas that I want to use up. So we're going to make a casserole out of this leftover prime rib. I'm going to cube this meat. I am going to uh, add mushroom and onion soup, some cheese, and top it with some hash browns. So let's get started. So we are going to make a casserole that's going to knock your socks off using our leftover holiday food. I have leftover prime rib, cubed it. I have leftover fresh thyme leftover Gruyere cheese because yesterday I made French onion soup. So I have a little French onion soup left that's going to form the basis of the liquid in the casserole. I have some additional onions, some mushrooms, so let us throw, oh and we're going to make uh, hash browns to put on top. I use Gruyere but you could use Swiss cheese or you could use a soft cheese, whatever kind of cheese you happen to have. I sprayed a little non-stick spray in this uh, three-quart casserole. First I'm going to add onions because they have to cook a little longer than the other ingredients. I don't want my beef to cook much more. So I'm going to put the bottom layer onions. And then we have some clean chopped Bella mushrooms. Put the mushrooms on there. Next we're going to add the beef. A big chunk. And I don't want it to cook too much, so that's why I'm kind of putting it in the center of the casserole. This is just my leftover prime rib, so I would say there's maybe about a pound and a half or maybe two pounds of beef here. So that's a good amount. Okay, our casserole is getting full. So yeah, I didn't want those stems in this casserole, so I kind of stripped the thyme off. So let's sprinkle it on there. Okay. Now we're going to layer some of the cheese on top of the beef. I have a lot of cheese, so I can just really pile it on. Or you can just hear the click, click, click of my ham and bean soup that's processing in the canner right now. It's really noisy, I apologize. But at least the canaries are quiet right now. So there's a blessing. Okay, so we've got a lot of cheese here. It's going to just melt that ooey goodness all into the lower layers. We've got onion, we've got mushroom, we've got beef, thyme and cheese. This is going to be like a, a meld of uh, French onion soup with a beef dip and mushrooms, so it's going to be awesome. Okay, I'm going to pour my leftover uh, French onion soup in here. It's very oniony. So we've got another layer of onion here. you got to like onion if you want to cook this. Okay. okay, so I've shredded up some hash browns. You can use pre-prepared hash browns. If you make your own, just make sure you blot them to soak up the excess moisture. If I had time, I would actually soak them to draw out some of the starch and then blot them, but I'm just going to throw these right in like this. These are going to top the casserole. Make a nice crisp topping.
And we're going to add a little bit more uh, cheese on here. Okay. So there we go. Top with some more cheese. Since I have it left. Okay, looks good enough to eat. All right, the oven is heated. I decided to go with 375 because I really want to have that top crispy. So let's get this pot into the oven. Into the oven, 375. We'll let it cook for, oh, maybe 45 minutes or so to make sure the mushrooms and onions at the bottom are nice and done. Okay, we've had this cooking for about say about 45 minutes. We put it in pretty close to four o'clock and it's starting to look pretty delicious. It's bubbling and the cheese on top is browning so I'm going to turn the oven off. Let it sit for a few minutes. I think I'll pull it out of the oven and then we're going to eat. So we'll show you what it looks like. Wow does that look yummy. And I didn't put much liquid in there, but it uh, produced quite a bit of juice, so it's going to be tasty. Okay, we're going to dig into this. It's been sitting here for 10-15 minutes. Ooh, the cheese is just... Uh, Delicious. Lots of onion, mushroom. Mm. And of course beef. So there we go. Pair it with a salad and you're set.